the most difficult thing for Celtic is we're playing a lower league club and you've always got a possibility of slipping up against a lower league club because of overconfidence. It's true what you say, we are in a lower league and what an embarrassment will that be if we beat you. This will probably be the most significant old firm victory in, in the history if Rangers beat you. But you're, you're always shoving it down my throat in the lower league. We know we're in the lower league. We're just a bigger crowd than you, but it doesn't look like we're in the lower league, so ah, we'll be fine. We'll well, be okay. a couple of things about that. One, you don't have lower crowds. But secondly, it certainly would be the most significant result in your history because it's the first time you're playing us in your history. So no, it's not. No, it's not. If it's good enough for FIFA, UEFA, SFA, and who's other more be complaining to the Advertising Standards Authority? How many teams do you need to be slapped down before you accept it? Well, I don't know if FIFA and UEFA have come out in that favour. Oh, they have. Go on the UEFA website and see, and you'll see that Rangers said... Do you know, that listen, I'm going to stop you there. This is absolute nonsense. You're talking absolute nonsense. You're also, you somebody spent three grand in a national newspaper to tell a lie. Why don't we just concentrate on football? Because you're sort of obsessed with Rangers. Why are you so obsessed with us? We're a lower league team. We're just trying to make our way in life. I know for a fact, if you want to deal in facts, Rangers walked away. Walked away from what? From their debts and went bust and were liquidated that and happens. weren't saved from their support by that the supporters. Happens. That happens. And that is the reason why you're not the same Rangers. We're not the same Rangers. Of course we're the same Rangers. The holding company went bust. <laughs> why can't you get this in? Are you more, um, more experts than SFA? No. No, so the SFA I, was I just know, so I just, to go to something else I just know about company law. Ah, listen, I mean, a company goes bust, a company goes bust. I don't care what bust. you know about. But the we're fact the same is, Rangers, Scottish football, getting back to the question, no, you're most not. Most successful club in do, the world. No, you're not. Oh, look, like, it's do, busting your do backside. Scottish, do Scottish, you ain't bust. Ah, of course it is. It's the only way you'll ever become more successful than us if you try and steal what titles you're going to try to. By not cheating. By the way they've done. By playing oh, failing I'm glad you brought up cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm glad you brought up cheating. So can we get back to the Scottish football? No, no, I'm glad you brought up cheating. The first year of the Scottish League, Celtic were fined for cheating. The first for year? playing, 1890, for playing players they shouldn't have. They stole six players, I think it was, off your hips. Your club's been cheating since the day they were born. I'm talking about... Inner... Never mind what you're talking about. You're talking about the history of the clubs. I'm telling you, Celtic have done so many bad things, it's unreal. And you try to tell me that Celtic don't miss Rangers. Celtic miss competition. It's it sticks in your throat, doesn't it? No. Celtic Does Celtic miss, miss Rangers, no. yes or no? If, no? if I had my wish, I'd never play a team called Rangers ever again in my lifetime. Listen, you're the same as most Celtic fans if you had your wish, but we live in the real world. We're coming to get you, get used to it. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> Glasgow, over the course of Saturday and Sunday, will have almost 100,000 football fans coming to watch two football games. And I think that's fantastic. What other city is going to have 100,000 people over the course of the weekend coming to watch football games? I think it's fantastic that we can generate that when people are critical about Scottish football and we still have that number of people coming to watch football games in Glasgow. The problem is, all you need is one idiot to start something and you've got potentially 50,000 idiots in the stadium. If we just stop all the nonsense and just go on with the football, I think the, the city will be a lot safer.